Hey everybody, it's Liam and Matt here from Bionic Viking and today we're doing the initial thoughts for Mario Kart 8 which is a pretty dope racer so far. What are you thinking about it, man? Yeah, it's pretty good. It's uh, everything that you used to love from all the other Mario Karts and then, yeah, all bundled into one. Got some new maps. It's pretty good. And the there are a lot of re good. recurring maps as well. And yeah. um, there's like a new parasailing. There's a whole bunch of, like there's a whole handful of mechanics here. Um, that you'll see throughout the video but yeah so far the game's pretty dope it's pretty fast paced um actually like we've been playing a lot of 150 cc but like it's it's pretty fast paced it's a pretty fun game as well but yeah what are your favorite parts about it so far i think the mechanics like how everything works how even if you're in 12th place which i was a lot <laughs> you can still come back to get a placement it's not unfair really yeah. like how they always keep someone in the game even if for example in battle mode if you lose all your three balloons instead of being right out of the game you can kind of go that around cool ghost mode yeah, yeah ghost mode troll the other players so bananas yeah good old good. yeah no it is that is definitely like a, uh, a genuine feature of mario kart with the uh the luck aspects you know you go get the question mark you're in 12th place you'll get a bullet bill or something like that so um yeah that is definitely something that's recurring i mean and returning from the old uh, mario kart games there are a whole bunch of characters in this one i think there are like 35 characters yeah and like 10 of them are unlockable there are a lot of characters in this game um we just finished unlocking the last cup uh depending like on the order you play it in we uh, unlocked the special cup and then what's the other one called the lightning cup i think lightning yeah so the like the first cool. four the top four are like all new maps and then the bottom four cups are old maps so they brought back like a bunch of uh you know nintendo ds 3ds gamecube maps from old games and uh i don't know it's working pretty well like i don't know I, i've had a lot of fun with the old maps they've done them in this like reinvented way with water like comes into play so much yeah, yeah, going underwater, going into different like scenarios, uh, riding along the wall. It actually, anti gravity is actually fucking sweet. Yeah, yeah, it occurs quite a lot in most of the maps. Yeah, it's not bad. It's pretty sweet. What's um, your favorite map? My favorite map so far, not Star City or not Star, not Star City or um, Rainbow Road. Like I used to love Rainbow Road back in the day because yeah. everyone used to fall off, but Man. now I just fucking suck and I can't like. I'm still getting the hang of the, the like the what do you what would you call it? The sliding or like the drifting yeah, drifting and side corners of things. And boosting out of it. Yeah. yeah. It's definitely an important part in this one. Like it, it hasn't been as important in the like the previous Mario Karts, but you can determine a fair bit just by like getting the right drifts and stuff like that. Um, there are a couple really, really cool uh, maps, like new maps where you know, you have these underwater segments and then you'll transition into anti-gravity so you can be going underwater and then the next second you'll be like up on the side of the level or, you know, and then there'll be like giant bouncing things. It's weird, man. There, there are a lot of, there's a lot of shit in this game. Um, and we only really scratched the surface of it. We played about, what, five to six hours of it? Yeah, about five, six hours. A couple of us were around playing the game, split screening. Yeah, brought out the competition in all of us. <laughs> it did get pretty intense at one point. Um, but yeah, no, it's definitely, a, like, it, it is a Mario Kart game, and it's pretty much, like, everything that I used to like from Mario Kart, just done in a HD setting. Yeah, it's really good. Um, really, specifically, in the game, um, when you jump, when you're going off ramps, that seems to have a huge part in, like, gaining boost, gaining momentum, and collecting coins is actually useful now uh, not just unlocking certain things for like new vehicle customization and stuff which is actually quite large yeah yeah it's an important factor and, and stuff. you were saying that the coins make you go like a little bit faster yeah that's what i find i might be wrong but it seems um they make you go a little bit faster and i think that's an extra bit of a reward for if you like take someone out with a red shell for example in front of you you can drive past and collect their coins and zoom off a bit faster. I think that's the that's weird though. It's like I couldn't think of anything else that the coins would be used for. Like it's not like yeah. Mario's gonna go to the whole house after he wins a race and spend his his pay. Well, I know, man. Peach might be that kind of girl. <laughs> she might be cool with it. Might be going for the money, you know. Uh, but yeah, it's definitely a cool game. There are definitely different elements um, that have been coming in. And uh, it's really just the same game that's perfect for split screen and like, you know, 
They're all online modes. You can play one player online, or I think you can play two player, and then yeah, like within teams or battle or something like that. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's still like at the core it's still just a split screen game you know like it not just a split screen game but like for me that'll always be the best way to play this game with like buddies you know reaching across the room after someone hits you with a blue shell and punching them in the arm because fuck that I hate that shit yeah it's terrible or when like you're in third place you know you need to place in the top three two of your friends take you out simultaneously you get hit by one thing and then they'll the other person will drive past take you out and you'll drop back to tenth Lame and Nick, yeah, yeah. That, we were good at that game. We 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 were very good at that game. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's just a bundle of fun. It's a lot of fun, and it's a uh, it's fucking awesome that they've actually brought out another Mario Kart. I wasn't even you know we didn't really hear about the the Mario Kart Eight uh, side of things on the Wii for you know maybe six months, seven months out. Like we all knew it was kind of on the way, but kind of caught me off off guard. Um, but overall, man, yeah, I'm enjoying the game a lot so far. Yeah, it's a really good game. I really enjoy playing it. It's fucking sweet, man. But anyway, guys, this has been the initial thoughts on Mario Kart 8. I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to subscribe if you did. It's been Matt and Liam from Bionic Viking. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bowser is love. Bowser is life. It's not Goomba. It's never Goomba.